Year 3 and welcome to Friday's English lesson. Today you are going to be writing your own imitate version of the Stone Trolls. You will need your story map. So our success criteria for today is show a clear structure, a beginning, middle and end, paragraphs with line breaks, expanded noun phrases, adverbs or adverbial phrases to start sentences and neat joined handwriting. So here is my story map. I need to read through it, make sure I've got the punctuation and then start writing. So let's read through the first sentence. On the south coast of Iceland, comma, near the small village of Vik, Comma, there once lived a band of trolls. Full stop. Okay, I think I've remembered that. I've got my punctuation in place. Let's start writing. So, on the south coast of Iceland, comma, near the small village of Vic, comma, there once lived a band of trolls, full stop. So as before, when you finish writing your sentence, go back and make sure you change any mistakes. <gasps> Found my first one. I'm sure you won't make this mistake. I need a capital letter. Easy fix. On the south coast of Iceland, comma, near the small village of Fick, comma, there once lived a band of trolls. Lovely. Right, I'm ready to carry on. So I read my story map. They were huge, comma, ugly creatures who were feared by humans and hid under ground in dark caves next to an ice covered volcano let's have a go right they were huge comma ugly creatures who were feared by humans and I've got a feeling there could be a they. We'll check it out at the end. And they hid underground. Actually, are they hid underground in dark caves next to an ice covered volcano so once again make sure you read through your sentence to make sure you haven't got any silly mistakes so there were huge ugly creatures who were feared by humans and they hid underground in dark caves next to an ice covered volcano that looks good to me let's carry on so, all trolls knew if they were captured by the sun, comma, they would immediately turn to stone. Full stop. Right, let's carry on. So, all trolls all knew that if they were caught by the sun, comma, they would immediately turn into stone. And again, I finish my sentence, I go back and try, oh, oh no, I've done it again. Starting your sentences with a capital letter, right, all troll, oh, I think it's all trolls. 
All trolls knew that if they were caught by the sun, they would immediately turn into stone. Lovely, but I'm happy with that. So the last sentence, so, comma, I've got a moon, oh, so at night, under the cover of darkness, comma, they would venture out to hunt and fish. Right, let's finish this. <gasps> Must remember my capital letter, so, comma, at night, under the cover of darkness, comma, they would venture out to hunt and fish, full stop. So, very important, I go back and check. So at night, under the cover of darkness, they would venture out to hunt and fish. Full stop. Right, that's my first paragraph finished. So top tips for today's English lesson. Read your story map again and again if you have to. If there's a little bit that you're not sure of, go back to the original text. Have a look where you've gone wrong add something else to your story map so that you are sure of what you are writing. Make sure you have in the commas, make sure you've included full stops so your imitation is just as accurate as the original text. Remember, for your next paragraph, miss a line and then start the next part. Do remember to take a photograph and send it to your teacher because we absolutely love reading your stories and we're really missing seeing them. Till next time. Bye.